Hello everyone, it's me again. Before we go to our new topic, I would like to ask a few questions. Do you have a family picture? What about a picture of your father or your mother? If you have, among the two, to whom do you resemble the most? Is it from your mother or your father? The traits that we possess are inherited from our parents. But how is that possible? What is the genetic material responsible for the coding of our traits? Today, we're going to discuss the answers to those questions. Because today, we're going to discuss the DNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid contains the information to form and control the physical makeup and the chemical processes of an organism. It is also called the blueprint of our life. It is the double-stranded helix made up of repeating units of nucleotides. James Watson and Francis Crick constructed the DNA double helix model which paved the way to the understanding of the DNA. Where can we find the DNA? Inside the cell, there is a nucleus and inside the nucleus, there are chromosomes. Chromosomes are thread-like structures which carry hereditary information. A normal human being has a total of 46 chromosomes. On the other hand, inside the chromosomes, we can found the DNA. Now, what are the components of DNA? DNA is a double-stranded helix made up of repeating units of nucleotides. Now, what is nucleotides? A nucleotide is composed of the following materials. Alternate sugar and phosphate on the side, and on the step of the ladder are nitrogenous bases. Nitrogenous bases on the rungs or step of the ladder includes thiamine, which pairs to adenine, cytosine, which pairs to guanine. Meanwhile, genes are segments of DNA in a chromosome that describes how to make a molecule called proteins. It is the hereditary traits that can be transferred from parents to offspring. It determines the type of trait a person will have depending on the type of gene which is expressed. How does locus and alleles are interconnected to each other? Locus are the location of genes in chromosomes, while alleles are a pair of genes that have same traits but different characteristics. For example, this is a pair of homologous chromosomes. It shows the location of the genes for the color of a flower. As you can see, the two chromatids represent different color. The other one contains the genes for the white flower, while the other one contains the genes for purple flowers. This is what I meant when I say the alleles are pairs of genes that have same traits but different characteristics. For this example, they have same traits, which is the color of the flower but they have different characteristics which is the white flower and the purple flower. Now let's talk about the steps in making simple DNA model. First, you have to prepare all the materials you need. For the simple DNA model, we need bond paper, glue, long plane folder, and of course the coloring materials. Then on a bond paper, draw six sets of nucleotides then label each nitrogenous base following the sequence below. First, you have adenine, followed by guanine, thiamine, guanine, cytosine, and adenine. Then, color the six sets of nucleotides by the following color. Color the phosphate with red, deoxyribose sugar with blue, and for nitrogenous bases, color the adenine with yellow, thiamine with green, guanine with orange, cytosine with violet. This arrangement serves as half of your DNA molecule. Now, to complete your DNA model, you need to construct the other half of the DNA model. You need to draw again the six sets of nucleotides. To connect the DNA molecule, the nitrogenous base must be paired with each other. Adenine must always be paired with thiamine, 
Cytosine must be paired with guanine.